Hi, I'm Chantal, one of the nurses here at the Sugarbox Clinic, and today we're going to show you how you can get your lips dissolved at your cosmetic clinic. We often get called about uh, customers wanting their lip fillers dissolved if they've been to other clinics. It's not so common if um, customers come to our clinic, um, but if somebody did have a treatment with us and they were unsatisfied, then we'd do the treatment free of charge. For about 18 months, I had filler in my cheek area and my chin here. And I was hoping it would go away on its own because I could see the create shadow. We just tend to see uneven lips or filler that's migrated to the upper lip, so in this region rather than in the actual lip. So when I go in certain lighting or mirrors, I can see this just blotchy. Quite often people don't know what they've had. We do encourage them to go back to their own practitioner um, because their practitioner knows what they've had done. If somebody wants to have it dissolved with us, then of course they need to bring in their medical notes so that we've got some information with regards to what fillers they've had. I didn't think you'd be able to dissolve it, but I thought I just got told to keep rubbing it. I've rubbed it, it just doesn't go. It's, I don't like it, mate, so I want to get rid of it. Sometimes things can go wrong, it doesn't matter who it is. I would suggest that people go to the practitioner and say, well, this is, could you tell me about the side effects? And then ask how would they manage those side effects if they were to happen. First of all, we need to assess somebody, um, and then we need to decide whether or not that filler can be dissolved. And we write a prescription based on our assessments so if they're medically suitable. Um, once they come in, they have an allergy test, so they can have that done on their wrist. Um, and then they need to wait half an hour in order to see whether or not they have a reaction to the dissolving enzyme. She's done a little test patch on me now, which is fine. It doesn't look like I'm reacting at all. Um, yeah, and then I'm just waiting to go in now. Once that's been done and we're happy to proceed, we, it's really just an injection into the same area that the filler's been um, administered. Um, we wait for a period of time, so you can gradually see that filler start to break down. She puts old numbing cream on, but it's just the first, some people always mention it's quite a little bit painful. Some fillers are harder to break down than others, and usually they're, in our experience, they're ones that have no FDA approval and no uh, clinical research on them. Because I'm a registered nurse, I have to act within a code of conduct, so we never do anything that's for financial gain, that's, that's part of the code. People do say, within the nursing forums, you know, you don't want to get involved with that kind of scenario because you don't know the history. There's a, the human choice is you want to help, and you want, you want to be able to offer somebody the support because they can't get it from their practitioner. I always think about if it was me having a treatment, you know, if it's... Um, Girls who are younger come along, I always think, oh, if it was my daughter, I'd look after them. But also, they're walking around as though they're my adverts, so I make sure that if they're going to be saying they've had the treatment done with me, that they look their absolute best. So Leanne's a customer of ours, but she'd been somewhere else and had her lips treated. The results weren't as she wanted. The fluid migrated above her lip and um, although she wanted this area lifted, it was in a single area so that the bulk of the product was in this area. And what we did is we just dissolved it so that that area was then soft again so we can, we can restart the process. We've done the sides and now you can notice the difference. There's still a spot of filler in the top, but you can see the lip. Yes, we did the first dissolving treatment um, and then once that started to break down and she could start to see the results, she realised then that she wanted actually a little bit more of the filler in the body of the lip dissolved because it didn't look right. I was happy the day I had it done because you can see it went straight down immediately. There was a little bit of bruising but it wasn't like a long lasting effect, it went down immediately. So I want the rest done now, you can notice the difference. Um, and so really we need to start all over again and um, for her to have no filler at all in that area. And a little bit above, is it? Yeah. Just happy? Yep, yeah, should be able to feel it now.
I was told that when I asked them to if I could have it break, broken down, she said it's quite a um, painful procedure, she said to me, it's quite painful, so she doesn't know whether she preferred me just to try and break it down my fingers. Okay. Right, nice deep breath in, backwards to the couch, well done. I mean, it's no different to have, actually having your lips done. Mm -hmm. It always hurts in the, it's tingy in the border. It's not as bad as actually having it done though, the cupid bowl. I would recommend it to anyone to have it done. If you're unhappy with any kind of filler, see any indents, just get that bit dissolved and redone again. It doesn't hurt and it's an easy procedure. So if you like our videos, why not hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell on the side and we'll be able to notify you every time our new videos released.